Hey guys, in this DIY, we'll be making a holiday mug candle. Stay tuned for this fun and super easy DIY. Here are the materials needed. All right, as you can see, we're gonna be using Dollar Tree materials as usual. You know I don't show you anything that is expensive or hard to do. You're gonna need two of the tall candles. You can use any color wax of your choice. I chose white, they have red, they have blue, they have green. You're gonna need two of those depending on how many mugs you are doing. If you are doing one standard size mug, you're definitely gonna need one and a half. If you have multiple mugs, you're definitely gonna need two um double up on the candles depending on how many mugs you have next you're going to need some craft sticks the craft sticks are basically to sift the wick out and straighten it out you're going to need a glue gun some glue sticks of course a mug of your choice and a pot of water to melt it so we're going to get right into it it's super easy here we go as you can see i've placed my candles in a big pot of water you need to put these on low heat for about an hour mine took about an hour and a half um, but put it on low heat let it melt down and this is how you're going to transfer your wax into your mug now i've done that off can off, off camera of course um, it took about an hour and a half they are very hot so i have a towel here i have my uh, craft sticks here and i'm going to sift out the wick place it on the towel to let it cool down, and then we'll proceed. If I can get the daggone things open, goodness. Okay, sorry y'all, I mean, <laughs> listen, this is all real time. Excuse my little house clothes. I honestly didn't know how this was gonna come out. I just set up the camera and the ring light and went with it. So here I'm showing you the craft sticks. I was hoping that they had the larger ones. They normally equal two of one if you put them together. That's what I was trying to show you. But they only had the small ones. And of course, I'm good with a dollar. I don't need to go to Michael's to pay three and five dollars. So we're gonna use what we have. And as you can see, I'm just sifting out the wig and I'm placing it on the towel to cool down. It definitely needs to be cool because your hot glue will not stick as you're gonna see. So I just have them placed on the table, cooling down. Here's my mug. We are gonna take our hot glue gun and we're gonna glue that wick to the very center of this mug. Now, I was originally looking for a fall mug, but girl, if you don't get your fall decor by like October, first week of November, you are out because the store is packed with Christmas stuff now. So this is what I went with. Still a cute little mug. So yeah, that was my choice. Gonna go ahead and hot glue that wick to the center as best as I can of this mug and make our candle. Okay, so I'm placing the glue gun, um, the glue on the bottom of the wick and as you're gonna see, it's not gonna stick. I'm gonna have to wipe it off because it's too cool. It was literally just sliding off, getting on my fingers. So here we are again reattempting to do it my glue gun has been through it i can't find my newer one this is my baby though and i will always keep it because my grandmother gave it to me okay so yeah as you can see the glue stayed on there so i'm sticking it into the center of the bottom of the mug as best as i can and i'm going to show you that shortly look at those veins girl I'm just sticking it up to make sure it's centered before that glue dries because it does dry quick. And I think I did a good job. So it's pretty much in the center of the mug. And now we're just gonna take that hot wax and pour it directly into the mugs. This particular size mug took one and a half, as you will see, of these tall candles. And be sure to use something, um, you know, uh, a towel like I'm doing, or a pot holder, whatever you have, a glove, whatever you have, mitten, because they are hot. They were burning for an hour and a half. It's definitely hot wax. So be careful. Fill it to the top. And then I am looking for my craft stick because you want to put one on each side keep the, to keep the wick in place. You wanna keep it straight up in the center. So yeah, just like that, put two craft sticks on the side, look like popsicle sticks, child. If you have popsicles, then use the sticks, you ain't gotta go buy none. <laughs> place them on the side of the wicks, let it go straight up. As you can see, just want you to see how it looks. Let it sit, preferably overnight, because you don't want to um, try to burn it too soon. 
and your wax um, will have air bubbles in it. But um, yeah, just let it sit. I'm gonna come back and show you guys how it looks once it's all molded together. Okay, so here we are. I think this was about three to four hours later. Um, it was pretty cool in my house. I had the window open in my craft room, so it was cooling down pretty quickly, but I, I did let it sit overnight. Now, I meant to mention, if you want a scented candle, these were baby powder already scented, but if you pick a plain one, all you have to do is get the aroma oil, drop it in there as you're pouring your wax into the cup, and you have a scented candle now what we're going to do is cut this wick once it's well dried and i'm going to wait until the next morning once we have it well dried we will cut that wick we'll burn it and we're all done just showing you how it looks this is the next morning i'm going to get the scissors if you have wire cutter use that if not girl use what you got it'll cut okay and there you have it. All right, guys, I wanna show you one thing really quickly. See how the wax is separating from the mug? Make sure your wax is somewhere really still or it will separate. It'll level out once it starts burning. So here's the final I'm product. Outside in the AMG, right outside. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super easy to make, super inexpensive. They'll make super cute gifts for your family, your coworkers, even um, additions around your home. Pick a cute mug, fill it up with some wax, bam, you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, Tea with Tally Blog. See you there. Certain things are starting to get me pissed off